Hey guys, so today we're going to do the I Heart Fall Tag, and I've been wanting to do this for a while, and I was at my dad's tonight, and I was thinking, what video should I make, because I really wanted to make one for you guys, because I've been lacking on videos lately, and a, like a few weeks before that, I was making them constantly, so I wanted to give you guys back more videos. So, um, I was actually just watching Eleventh Gorgeous's, um, I heard follow tag on my iPad, and I really want to do these questions. So I have the questions from the description box below right here. So I'm just going to read off of this if you see me looking down the OBY. Number one question is, favorite fall lip products? And that's kind of funny that you ask, because all of my favorite fall lip products are all in this one little Estee water bag that I think my mom got with like a purchase or something. Um, in this little tiny EDB pouch, I actually keep a lot of things separate. I keep like my keys and like my license and stuff like that in here. That's separate, and then a mirror is separate, and then I actually have a little gloss just randomly in there, but like I just kind of throw change in there too. But yeah, so I have a lot of my fall love products in here actually. And the first fall love lip color, um, I absolutely love. My Steel Lip Liner and Contour number four this is a gorgeous kind of ready. Well, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a nude pink almost, but a really like toned, like brown fall color. So I like that a lot. I like this duo from Clinique. It's the um, I think Tender Heart is the lipstick color, which is like a brown neutral nude. And then a few colors. It's Sunset is like the neutral brownie toned um, gorgeous lip gloss that I love wearing all the time. Oh, I love this lipstick. This is actually one of my favorites that I wear quite often. It is Syrup by MAC and this is just a really kind of, not really vampy, but vampier pinky color. So I love wearing that during the ball time as well. And then I love this lip gloss especially. This is also from Stila. And it's in Orchard. It's like a darker purple. I've been really into like vampy purple lips or fuchsia, um, darker fuchsia lips from the drugstore. I actually tried an OCC lip tar the other day. I think I mentioned in my last video. And oh, that lip color was amazing. And I think I'm going to go back and get it. Even though it is $16, which is so pricey, I'm going to get it. So the last thing is something that I wear basically all year round, no matter what. So I guess this doesn't count as a fall favorite lip product, and this is like more than one product, but it gives you some choices, and this is just Stocked Nude by Revlon, which is a really popular nude color on YouTube, and I love, love, love it. It's gorgeous. So that's all that's in <coughs> that little bag. I just have a little Smashbox eyeliner in here, just because eyeliner is the thing that I like to touch up most often throughout the day except powder, but powder doesn't really fit into this tiny little pouch, so I keep that separately as well in here, in my purse. So yeah, that would definitely have to be a fall, fall favorite lip product. Next is favorite fall nail polish. I'm actually wearing it right now, and this is a really surprising brand I didn't think I'd like, and it's the Kaspar brand at um, Target. And this was on sale for around 99 cents or something like that, super ridiculously cheap, at Target. And my mom was just like, why not get it? Like, it's almost fall. So we got it. And I'm really not sure what the color is. I'll link it in the description box once I find out. And I'll put it down below and do the specific name. So it won't be when this video is uploaded because I'm uploading it right after I film it. But it is just this, like, how pretty is that? It gives a really nice iridescence. Like, you can see the sparkle in it, which I really like. And it's a gorgeous, like, brown-toned, neutral, kind of like a leaf color. And it's really gorgeous. It's like a gold, and I really like it. So that's definitely my favorite fall um, nail polish product. And it's surprising that I have all these things with me, because I'm just staying with my dad till 7 in the morning tomorrow. I actually do, I have school off tomorrow, which is tomorrow's Friday. Um, because it's conference week at my school, so I have tomorrow off, and, um, I'm at my dad's, and tomorrow I'm being picked up to go homecoming dress shopping with a couple of friends. Um, so I need to be home earlier and ready and dressed and ready to go 
pick out some dresses. I'm really excited. So um, I'm surprised that I have all these things, all these things with me because all I brought was pajamas. So I'm really excited that I did. Um, the next thing, number three, is favorite Starbucks fall drink. Wow. There's a couple. Um, I don't know why. I just get really into drinking coffee and tea and um, lattes. Like all throughout the summer, or not the summer, the fall and winter, I hate drinking hot drinks during the summer and spring just because I feel like it's hot outside and it's just gross to be drinking like a hot drink. So I drink a lot of coffee and tea and lattes and any hot drink like hot chocolate and stuff like that all throughout the um, fall time. So uh, I actually have three, I think, that I'm like, in specific about. The first one is the hot chocolate that they have. They have the best hot chocolate in the entire universe. I love it so much. So that would definitely be a favorite. Second would be the... <sighs> Mac Rabio 7 got me on this. The sal salted caramel latte. Oh my god. So good. I actually recently just had the salted caramel cake pop at Starbucks. That's a new addiction. The salt on it makes it so like salty sweet contradiction like amazingness. And I love it. I don't know why I said contradiction. That was the weirdest thing that just came out of my mouth. The third one would be the pumpkin spice latte. I drink that constantly. That's actually the most like like bought fall drink for me is the pumpkin spice latte. I buy that quite often. Um, the peppermint mocha at Starbucks is something that I order a ton during winter time, but this is all about fall. So salted caramel latte and pumpkin spice latte and we'll get on. Oh yeah, the hot chocolate. Those are amazing. I love all three of those. Number four, favorite fall candle. I love leaves. I know that's so typical, which I'm not going to go really into that because Everyone loves leaves, and you're going to hear that from, like, literally every beauty guru on here, so I don't even know why that question was put into this tag in the beginning, because I think that's an obvious answer for, like, everyone. Um, I love the pumpkin cupcake one, um, and I love, love, love the sweet cinnamon pumpkin from its Latkin and Co. I really like those candles, um, and I've been burning candles religiously every single night. Number five, favorite fall scarf or accessory. I love arm candy for fall. I love my rose gold watch from Michael Kors. I wear that a lot because I think it's a gorgeous color for fall time. Uh, it's really any season, but fall time it's like really vibrant because it's like a brighter piece. And with like the dark maroons and the darker colors and for fall, uh, it just kind of livens up an outfit. And it's really classy. I'm not wearing it today because my sleeves were longer and I thought, it wouldn't really look good. Um, I rolled them up because I have like a weird like thing where I just like roll up things. I really like this shirt. I actually just got it and featured it in the whole yesterday with ombre and so that was like a denim shirt. But yeah, so I love that. I love my Urban Outfitters black and white scarf. I wear that a lot and I love my nude scarf from a boutique. I'm really not sure I caught that, but it's a nude scarf I like because it's easy to pair with anything. Oh my gosh. Number six, Haunted House, Haunted Hayride, or Haunted Corn Maze. Corn maze. Neither. Um, I actually already went to one. I already went on the Haunted Corn Maze. It really wasn't haunted at all. Like, we just went to the Corn Maze and got lost a few times, but it really wasn't haunted. But I guess it counts because it was a Corn Maze. And Hayride, I'm terrified of getting scared because a lot of my friends do, like, all of the creepy, like, haunted houses, like, people pop out everywhere and follow you everywhere with, like, chainsaws and stuff. That just, like, terrifies me because I've seen so many scary movies, like, Chain Letters is the scariest, most gory movie I could ever think of because it's something that could happen. Like, not saying it would happen, but, like, oh, I, I can't stand a thought. And haunted houses just, you know, I'm afraid of because, like, a lot of the people said that there's like a section in a really local um, haunted house that everyone goes to like every single year. And there's like, you go through like multiple rooms in a house. So like you go through like a bathroom, you go through, I think there's like a bridge you cross over and like in the upper, 
like window of the house, there's like a guy standing there with a gun. It's really scary. It's not a real one, obviously. And I think the bathroom is what they told. Oh no, there's also like a slaughterhouse. So there's like a bunch of like fake dead pigs. I wouldn't be able to handle that. And the bathroom has like blood and puke and stuff all over it. Like obviously fake, but like realistic looking. So I don't think my stomach could handle stuff like that, which is kind of why I avoid those things. But if I could, and they wouldn't bully you around, because a lot of people say that when they go through them, um, actually a friend of mine actually got their shoes like legit stolen. Like they would not give them back. That's kind of creepy in a way. But um, they will not leave you alone. Like I know it's their job to keep bugging you and scaring you, but if there's like a certain point and a line is across and you just like flip out, I think I'd have an anxiety attack. Possibly. Number seven, favorite Halloween movie. Bewitched, I think is what, it call, what it's called. Um, that's actually a family movie that we watch a lot. Um, we watched Harley and the Great Pumpkin. That's like a tradition. We watch that every single year. Um, the first night it comes on, which already happened, so we already watched that. Um, if I go to like a bonfire or a Halloween party, we usually watch scary movies um, just because it's Halloween. I think I've watched Halloween, I forget like the numbers that I've watched, but like the Halloween one, like the Halloween movies with like, oh, I just, I can't even think about those, but the Halloween movies I watch quite often when I'm with friends because that's like, we watch that almost every time, I think we've seen all of them, but yeah. So, number eight, favorite candy to eat on Halloween. A lot of people like candy corn and those little pumpkin candies. Those literally make me feel like I'm going to throw up. Like, I gag every time I eat those. Like, I can't eat them. So, I I know candy corn, I wish I liked them because they're everywhere I go and they're so cheap. And everyone always has them. They're like, hey, you want some candy corn? I'm like, no, but I wish I could. Um, but probably candy you can buy without it being Halloween. So, like, I love Butterfingers. Score bars are literally an addiction for me. I eat those no matter what. Um, favorite candy that I get on Halloween would probably be Reese's or like full size candy bars. There's a lot of houses around me that give out full size candy bars. Like two dollar ones you can find at like Target or like Walgreens. Like big candy bars, and they're just like, oh, here you go, I'm like, okay, go on, we take two, um, but yeah, uh, number seven, I think, wait, no, I already got number eight, number nine, what are you dressing up as for Halloween? <sighs> I apologize for not being prepared, but I really have no idea, um, a lot of my friends' typical teenage Halloween parties are dressing up as bunnies and cats. Typical. Um, my friend trying to convince me into getting or into being a bunny. So I'm really not sure. Um, because I mean, like, I don't know. A lot of people at my school are always like, well, Halloween is just like an excuse to look slutty. And I'm like, no. A lot of people assume that's what the ho like, that's what the holiday is for. Like, you just gotta dress slutty. But I really don't think that's right. Um, not that you need to like wear like a complete full body suit where you have like the head and everything like that's the fun on. I mean not really like that's just like gross and sweaty. Unless you're willing to do that, you're awesome. But that's not me. But like I don't know. I'm really sorry I didn't prepare that. And I'm really trying to think, but I don't even know. Number last question. Number last question. Number ten. What is your favorite thing about fall? Can you get started? I love, love, love fall candle and scent. I love fall scents. They're cinnamony, they're calming, they're pumpkin. Love it. I love carving pumpkins. That's so fun. Everything I'm going to say is related to Halloween. Um, love dressing up and getting free candy and walking around with my friends outside and really just like having the whole community like have some fun. Um, I love, love, love fall fashion. I love maroon colors. I'm wearing my maroon leggings today too. 
Love fringe boots, which you can really wear those any season. I've obviously not some in spring, but yeah. So fall and winter, you can wear those anyways. But love fall fashion, love fall makeup. Um, just like I think fall, I can say is my favorite season. I absolutely love it. The only thing I don't like is the beginning of fall when the weather changes from hot to colder. Cold. I well, I mean it's colder, but it's like extra cold this season, I don't know why, but a lot of the spiders and little critters decide to try to get in your house because your house is warm and the outdoors is cold. So that's the only thing I don't like about fall, is that like, the bugs and everything just like want to come inside of the warmth and it's gross. Like in my basement, we have like a spider problem and we're going to get our house bomb really so we have like a problem, but we see them like a lot. Not like every day, like I don't walk downstairs and be like, oh, there's a spider. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. It's like one a week or something, not even. But like I brought up clothes from the basement, which is where we have our like laundry and stuff. And I was supposed to fold them. And I set them on my floor and a spider came crawling out of it. And I was disgusted. Like, I probably washed that load of clothes two times after that. Like, I could not handle the fact that there was a spider in my clothes. And my back is itching right now because I'm thinking about it. But, yeah, and the spider would not die. Like, I took a freaking cloth and I, like, smashed it multiple times and it would not die. And it was the fastest thing ever. So, I don't even know what kind of spider it was, but I was so grossed out. So yeah, we try to spray and keep doors closed in my house so that no spiders can enter. But yeah, I tag all of you watching this video to the I Heart Fall tag. And if you have already, leave it as a video response below or leave it in my inbox. And I love to watch it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.